Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by for another video. And if you're new to the channel, you'll find links down in the description for our projects and light burn tutorials. You may find those helpful, especially if you are a beginner. Uh, if you work through those and you have any issues or questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So today we're going to do a short video on the use of the circular array tool in Lightburn. We're going to start with an ellipse up here in the top left. Click that, then shift and draw out your circle. Let go of your mouse first and it will remain a symmetrical circle. Click your selector tool. Then we want to duplicate this, so right click and duplicate but you could also push control D and we're going to go to the corner. We're going to make this smaller, set it on top and we're just going to barely break the plane so we can weld these together in the end. And with it selected, we're going to shift and select our center circle to establish the center for the tool. And then we're going to go over and click the array tool. Uh, it's going to give you the same number uh, that you had in your last project whenever you use this last. And then you can adjust that up or down by clicking the arrows here. Uh, you want to also check to make sure that your start is on zero and your end is on 360 so you know you have a full circle. Uh, this is selected to establish the last object you selected as the center and later on we'll take that off and we'll adjust the X or the Y center and then you can see that you get some pretty crazy but cool uh, looking results. So click OK. Now all of these on the outer edge are selected together. Now you can click Shift, select your center circle, then you can go over to the weld option and weld those together. And then for whatever you intended that for, it's ready to use in your project. So we'll just move that out of the way. Uh, so now let's grab a square and just draw out a little plank like so. Click your selector tool, duplicate that, pull it out, go up to a range, and rotate it either clockwise, counterclockwise. Pull it back over. Shift, select your other plank, and then click center. And then select one, select the other. Doesn't matter because the center is going to be in the same place this time. Uh, click your circular array tool, and you get this. And there's our 10 to equal our 10 circles we put on the circle up here. You can adjust this. Uh, we will go ahead and turn off this center here. And then we will adjust the X down a little bit. And you get a totally different looking uh, result. Click OK. Now these are not uh, grouped together yet, so click off in some dead space and then uh, select and group. And I, I say this a lot, but if you pull from the right, you get a green line, and all you have to do is touch everything you want. So if we get past that circle, we know we get, or that center, then we know we've touched everything and it'll select everything. If you come from the left, you get a red line, and it won't do that. Because uh, from the left, it's designed to be able to pick objects out. So if you went around a, an object completely in the center of a project, it would pull it out. Okay, so let's select. Let's group it together. And then we will just pull that out of the way. Well, we can check the preview and see how that looks. And that's how it looks. And for whatever you intended that for, you would have it. Okay, so let's just draw something out. Uh, grab your drawing tool and just click anywhere and draw. 
click again and draw back the other way like so left click right click to get uh, rid of the the tool and then let's uh, let's just duplicate that I'm just playing folks but I learn something new from Lightburn every day uh, have a lot of fun doing it well not every day because I can't make it to the shop every day uh, if I could this is where I would be uh, there's there's always other things to do so pull them together select one shift select the other we can make this a little smaller and then we're going to hit our circular array tool we have that crazy looking object and then we can start adding to it and you can I guess the possibilities are pretty endless for what you could come up with that either looks like a sunflower or an eyeball but you just keep clicking and until you get what you want and then you use it in your project we're going to click OK uh, we're going to get a copy of that well we're going to, going to group it and then we will duplicate that pull it out see if we can do something else with it we'll pull one up here then we'll take this one and we'll make it red and then we will see if we can make it look like an eyeball well not quite but you get the idea and you can play around with it and uh, come back and let me know in the comments what you created, if it uh, worked out good for you. If not, and if you have questions, just let me know. So now, let's get another copy of that. We're going to pull it out, put it on a different layer, and then go up to Tools, go down to Deform, 16 points and see if we can do something different with it. Yeah, Lightburn is super powerful software. A lot of fun to use. And uh, they're, I'm not sponsored by Lightburn, but I am a big fan. So, All right, let's pull that out of the way. And you can just keep stretching that. I don't know what you would use that for, but you might. So let's just grab a square and just draw one out. Doesn't have to be a perfect square. Click your selector tool. We'll put that on a line. And then we will go to our array tool. And we get that. Let me scroll in some. And... That's pretty crazy. So we got that, and it gives you more options when you're working on your projects. I kind of want to try a triangle now. I know I'm just uh, I'm just playing around, but uh, big fun. All right, so I'm gonna click polygon. And shift and draw out a perfect hexagon and then click the selector tool and notice this little dot on top and then I can just turn that into a uh, triangle now if you don't see that dot or if you don't see a shape properties off to the right or somewhere on your page because these are movable you can put them anywhere if you don't see that, then go up to Window and down to Shape Properties and make sure that's selected. And then you'll be able to do that very thing. And then you can turn it and make it, when it lets me grab it, and you can turn that into other shapes. I think up to 40 sides, which is basically a circle, but not quite. All right, so we'll make this a little smaller. Uh, let's duplicate that, pull it down, go up to Arrange, and we'll just flip that vertical.
pull it back into it. And if you get close, you can see your line on your cursor change. Like that, maybe, right there. And then you can snap it to another object like that. And if you're not able to snap, just go up to your uh, general settings and make sure that here your snap to object, snap to grid is turned on and you'll be able to do that. So with one selected, we're going to shift and select the other one. And then we're going to click our array tool. And there we are with another crazy looking graphic. We click OK, click off, then we will group it, maybe put that on a different layer. Let's check the preview, see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. I don't know what you would need it for, but you might. So let's just pull that off to the side. Okay, that's probably enough of me playing. And uh, I think you've got the idea of what you can do with the circular array tool. And I think the possibilities are endless. So just uh, give it a try. If, uh, if you have any questions, anything I can help with, let me know. If you have more information that I didn't cover, uh, please let me know that as well. And I will, I can update this and then it'll help not only me, but it'll, it'll help a lot of other viewers and I would appreciate it. I appreciate any comments you want to give. So um, just check back often for new videos. You folks take care and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.